A horrifying viral video of stray dogs mauling a four-year-old boy to death inside a housing society in Hyderabad has left people shocked. This is not the first time stray dogs have killed or attacked vulnerable members of society. Incidents of pets attacking humans have also made headlines many times. Why are there so many stray dogs in India? Whose fault is it? And what needs to be done to solve the problem? These are the core questions. Hello and welcome to The Core Questions. India's population, a whopping 1.4 billion people on a relatively small piece of land. India is about one third the size of the United States of America and yet is the second most populous country in the world. The extremely overcrowded conditions and a dense population are just a couple of reasons for the number of strays. Let me explain. Why are there so many stray dogs in India? At present, there are over 10 million pet dogs in the country. By this year, the number is expected to shoot to 30 million. Compare this with India's stray dog population, about 35 million. And it's easy to see that there is a real problem India has on its hands. How did this happen in the first place? The problem goes much deeper than just the enormous number of humans and dogs. For starters, India does not have effective systems in place for animal health care and control. Consequently, proper steps are not taken to keep pets healthy and strays under control. The lack of proper animal control measures has led to the unchecked breeding of strays, resulting in a massive population explosion. Moreover, many people abandon their pets or allow them to roam freely, contributing to the stray dog population. This is morally wrong. There are options of surrendering your pet if you cannot take care of it anymore. Consider a shelter or trying to find a good home. However, the issue is not just about the number of strays, but also their behavior. Stray dogs often form packs and become aggressive, attacking humans and other animals. These attacks can very well be fatal, as we have seen in the recent horrific incident in Hyderabad. According to the National Crime Records Bureau, there were 4,146 reported cases of dog bites, leading to human deaths in India in 2019. This is a staggering number and highlights the severity of the problem. According to government data, with about 290,000 street dogs, the Indian state of Kerala is not even in the list of top 10 Indian states with the most strays. In terms of dog bites, Kerala reported about 100,000 cases in just seven months in 2022. The problem isn't new or even recent in Kerala along with other states. Experts state that the improper disposal of waste abandoned pets on the streets, and most importantly, inadequate sterilization and vaccination of dogs are the primary reasons for the problem routinely gripping the state. So who's responsible for this situation? Is it the government, individuals, or animal welfare organizations? The answer is all of the above. The government has failed to implement effective measures to control the stray population and ensure their well-being. Animal welfare organizations are doing their best to provide healthcare and shelter to strays, but their efforts alone are not enough. Individuals also need to take responsibility for their pets and not contribute to the stray dog population. Consequently, millions of dogs aren't properly vaccinated, animal waste isn't maintained as it should be, and a lot of dogs are left abandoned to live on the streets. This creates an even bigger problem. India has laws in place that make it illegal to remove a dog from the streets. Moreover, those same dogs cannot be driven away. So once a dog is on the streets, it has a right to stay there unless it's adopted. The only thing that can happen is for the dog to be sterilized and vaccinated. After that, it is returned to the streets. While India's law helps protect innocent dogs, it also creates the perfect environment for the stray dog problem to grow and to flourish. So what needs to be done to solve the problem? The solution to this problem requires a multi-pronged approach. First and foremost, the government needs to implement effective animal control measures and waste management to eliminate open litter from the roads. Like in many developed countries, penalties should exist for individuals who litter or don't clean up after their dogs. Rubbish bins and trash cans should also be provided and maintained. The government also needs to implement sterilization programs, vaccination drives, and effective enforcement of laws against abandoning pets and stray dog control. Mass cullings are not a long-term solution and considered unethical by many parties. The government needs to work with animal welfare organizations to provide proper health care, care, and housing to strays. 
Individuals also have a role to play in solving this problem. You and I should take responsibility for our pets and not abandon them or allow them to roam freely without a leash. Many people buy a dog without understanding normal dog behavior. For instance, a puppy normally undergoes teething and nipping and many owners, due to lack of knowledge, think the dog is aggressive or biting them. Many cage their dogs in India's hot climates for hours at a time without giving them attention or care. Many completely shave off the fur of a dog's coat in the summertime versus trimming it professionally, unaware that a dog's coat of hair helps the animal cope with heat and uneasiness. Shaving a coat completely also makes a dog vulnerable to serious diseases. If you're buying a dog or a pet, please opt for the multiple credible trading programs that exist with proven track records. Owners also need to cooperate in trading programs and many dog owners are simply unwilling to invest the time. Remember, just like children, a dog becomes hard to manage and even aggressive if training, care and routine is not provided by owners. In addition to this, there is a need to create awareness about responsible pet ownership and the dangers of feeding strays. Citizens must start to report stray dogs to animal welfare organizations. The media should also play a crucial role in this by highlighting the issue and promoting responsible pet ownership like this video is doing right now. The Indian government has taken various steps to address the issue of stray dogs in the country. In 2001, the Animal Birth Control Program was introduced by the government, which aimed to control the population of stray dogs through sterilization and vaccination. The program is implemented by local municipalities and NGOs, with the government providing financial assistance. Additionally, the Indian government has passed the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act in 1960, which prohibits cruelty to animals, including strays. The act mandates that every owner of an animal is responsible for its well-being and it is illegal to abandon pets or allow them to become strays. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also spoken on several occasions about the importance of adopting dogs and taking care of them. In his monthly radio address Man Ki Baat in January of 2020, he urged people to adopt Indian dog breeds and not to discriminate against them. Sathyo, Indian breed ke dogs bhi बहुत अच्छे होते हैं बहुत सक्षम होते हैं इंडियन ब्रीड्स में मुधोल हाउंड है हिमाचली हाउंड है ये बहुत ही अच्छी नस्लें हैं राजपलायम कन्नी चिप्पी पराई और कुंबाई भी बहुत शानदार इंडियन ब्रीड्स हैं इनको पालने में खर्च भी काफी कम आता है और ये भारतीय माहौल में डले भी होते हैं अब हमारी सुरक्षा एजेंसियों ने भी इन इंडियन ब्रीड्स के डॉग्स को अपनी सुरक्षा दस्ते में शामिल कर रही है अगली बार जब भी आप डॉग पालने की सोचें आप जरूर इनमें से ही किसी इंडियन ब्रीड के डॉग को घर लाएं। He emphasized that Indian dogs are very loyal and can adapt well to the Indian climate and environment and added that adopting a dog is like bringing a new family member into the house. PM Modi has also shared pictures of his own dogs on social media, encouraging people to adopt and take care of their pets. In response to the Kerala state government's proposal to cull aggressive and rabid dogs, animal activists argue that addressing the root causes of the problem is crucial. Rather than resorting to mass killings, implementing birth control programs, creating responsible systems for responsible feeding of strays, and collaborating with welfare groups is the long-term solution. Please share this video to those that need to see it and like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching the core questions by the Times of India. Until next time, this is Priyanka Deo signing off. Namaste.